George was a monkey. And, and what was his owner's name? Mr. The, the man with the yellow hat. There it is. The man with the yellow hat. And there were so many volumes of Curious George and my mama making me read Curious George helped me with my reading comprehension in school. And now, I'll read anything. If it's on the table, I'll read it. If it's on your table, I'll read it. Because reading is fundamental. Reading is the way that you can know. How many of us have signed contracts that we didn't read? Uh-oh. How many of us bought cars, signed all that paperwork, and, that, and, 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 and in big black bold letters it says, read thoroughly before signing? I ain't got time to read all this stuff. Just, just talk, tell me where to sign. And then when the car broke down after 61 days and you went to try to get your money back, oh, in the contract, it says that after 60 days, I can't get no help. Come on, help me say reading is fundamental. And just because you can't read doesn't mean you can't learn to read. Now, I, it, some of the smartest people in the world never read one word. I, I think I need to say that again. Some of the smartest people in the world never read one word. Your ability to read is not an indication of how smart you are. Some people never really took the time to learn to read. But they fooled everybody. Do you know how smart you have to be to be able to fool everybody? I mean, you, you got the newspaper open, right? But all you're doing is looking at the pictures. And people think you're reading. If you don't know how to read, you can learn to read. They got all kind of helps around here so you can learn. Ain't nothing to be embarrassed about. Read, because if you don't learn to read, how in the world are you going to read your Bible? How in the world are you going, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. How in the world are you going to check me out to make sure that I'm telling you the right thing? Isaiah chapter 34, verse number 6, says, Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. How can you study the scriptures if you don't know how to read the scriptures? Reading is a path to knowing. Everybody say reading, reading. Is, a path knowing. is a path to knowing. I'm not going to look down on you if you come to me and say, Pastor, I can't read. I'm going to encourage you. Learn how to read. Now, you can't tell everybody that. You can't, you can't. Some of these folk around here, you better not let them know you can't read. They'll talk about you. But I won't talk about you. I want you to be on the path to being able to stand on your own in the scripture. Reading is a path to knowing. The second path to knowing is to have somebody to tell you. You can read about it or you can have somebody tell you about it. It's like today, I'm telling you, I'm preaching to you, I'm teaching you. And there might be something that I mention in this sermon today that helps you find out something that you didn't know before you came. I try to learn something new every day. I literally try to learn something new every day. And in Wednesday Bible study, 
Here I am, I'm the teacher. But Mother Stevenson informed me of something I had no clue. Mother Ann, what was that you told the class about? Serving. One of the, one of the definitions out in the street for serving is to sell drugs. That's what I said. That's street lingo for selling drugs. Another uh, uh, street definition for serving is to kill you. I didn't know that before Wednesday. I found out something because Miss Ann told me. That's not something I could have read about. I, could, I couldn't have read that in a book. But what, what she did was, she went on her job. We had an assignment in our Wednesday class. Uh, we're talking about serving. And so I wanted them to kind of explore the word serving, define it, and, and, and just tell me some things about it. She went on her job and took a poll of the people that she works with and asked them to describe what serving meant to them. And that's the kind of information she was getting from her coworkers. I wouldn't have known that, thank you, Mother Stevenson, I wouldn't have known that unless she had told me. That's why we shouldn't close our minds to people. That's why we shouldn't walk around here acting like we know everything. You can learn something from anybody. I can't get no help in here. You can learn something from a child if you would only open up your mind and be in the position to receive it. Some of us are just too high-minded. Some of us are too caught up in who we think we are. That, and that's one of the problems with young people. Young people have two diseases. Number one, they're ignorant and they don't know it. Number two, they talk too much. You put those two together, you got ignorant people that talk too much. So you trying to tell them something that's going to help them, but every time you say something, they got something to say. And they don't know how ignorant. I need to drink some water behind that one. But the reason why I can say that is because when I was 22, 23, 24, as a matter of fact, I just have to go on and admit, I don't know when I stepped out of the ignorant cloud. <laughs> All I know is one day I looked up and I said to myself, I don't know what I think I know. That's when you know you're getting somewhere. When you can freely admit that you can learn from Wish I had more amens in here. I don't care how old you are, you can still learn. You can be on the mother's board, but you can still learn. We all, we all should be in learning mode until we close our eyes in death. Because who in here can say they know everything? Nobody. So that's the second path, is that someone can tell you. You can read about it, or someone can tell you about it. The third path to knowing is experience. In other words, you went out there and experienced it for yourself. What do you mean, preacher? Well, I went outside without my umbrella, and it started raining. Nobody told me it was raining. I didn't read that it was raining. Well, how do you know it's raining? Because I felt the raindrops. 
on my head. Now you got some folks who feel like experience is the only way to know things. I'm here to tell you. Experience may be the best teacher, but it's not the only teacher. I don't need to go out and cheat on my wife to find out that that's a stupid thing to do. <laughs> I can listen to some jughead who lost his family because he went out there and, 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 and did the wrong thing. I want you brothers to know, I want you men to know that you can learn from Tiger Woods experience. If you don't want your wife going upside your head with a three iron, I can't get no amen. Oh, how come I can't get no amens in here? You can learn from somebody else's experience, but let me tell you, experience is a good teacher. You hit that brick wall hard enough, long enough, you come to the conclusion that's probably not a good thing to do. If you go out and get drunk and with a hangover and can't remember what you did? That's probably a good indication you don't, know, you don't need to do that no more. I, 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 it's funny how people change when they get a little fire water in them. That's what my dad called it, fire water. I mean, they just as mild they're just as unassuming, but as soon as they get a little juice in them, something happens. I wish I had a witness in here. In other words, their personality changes. They lose all of their inhibitions. And so I was playing golf one time with some gentlemen and you know, we were having a good time, you know, just, you know, we laugh and, you know, we, we, you might hit a bad shot and we laugh, da, 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 da. And then here come, they have these, uh, these servers that just, just kind of ride around the golf course. And uh, usually, I thought they just served pop, you know, soap. And uh, she asked me, do I want it? I said, no, nah, I'm, I'm trying, I, you know, I don't, I don't need anything, I got water. And then they went up to my, my friends, my, my, uh, uh, my fellow golf mates, and they said, well, do you have Jack Daniels? And I said to myself, there ain't no way in the world. She, oh yes, we have Jack Daniels. <laughs> well, do you have Absolute? There ain't no way in the world they're carrying some. Oh yes, we have. <laughs> Boy, they bought some Absolute. They already had a uh, uh, Sprite and, and Coke, but I guess that wasn't doing it for them, so that's gonna serve as the chaser. And, and they started down in that stuff, and oh, everything changed. Lord, they started cracking them other jokes. And they started, they were hitting the ball straight, but then they started hitting the ball all over this way, and, and they hit it, and, 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 and Brother Brandon, they hit the ball in the river, and then they start cracking up. Ah! <laughs> so, I don't need to drink absolute to find out that my personality might change if I drink it. I could just watch them. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. Experience is a way to knowing. But let me share something with you. Whatever your path to finding out, there are certain things you got to know. Mother Hall, there's, I, just, I just discovered that in this life, there are certain things that if I didn't know, 
I would have to change professions. If I didn't know, I would have to get me some absolute. <laughs> if I didn't know, brother Lord, brother Lord, you know our friend from yesterday. Our friend, Lord have mercy. Our friend was strapped. Y'all know what I mean by strap? Yeah. <laughs> and see, I didn't know he was until he said, man, it's, it's hard to swing when you carry. <laughs> what you carry? I'm so naive, man. What you care? <laughs> man, he raised up his. India, he had a 40 caliber. I forget the name of something, something. And he had two magazines of 13 bullets each on one side and another magazine with 13 bullets on the other side. So he's got this 40 cal with a fully loaded magazine. Then he has three other clips. <laughs> on the golf course. And, and I asked him, I said, well, are you carrying a large sum of money? Oh no, I just, I just believe in, in protecting myself, protecting my family. Man, your family ain't out here. <laughs> Would it surprise you to know that this man who I'm referring to is a Church of God in Christ preacher? If there are certain, there are certain things, Brother Cranford, if I didn't know, I would resort to carrying. <laughs> I feel sorry for anybody that roll up on that brother. <laughs> because he's not just going to kill you. He's going to make sure that there's no DNA left. I never saw anything like that in my life. I, I mean, I'm talking about real life. I saw that on the movies. I mean, he was a virtual Rambo. I mean, look at all that. Man, where you going? You going to save Israel after we're done? Everybody say, there's two things we got to know. So, 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 so you probably want to know what two things am I referring to? Well, let me share the first thing with you. In Romans chapter number 8. Romans chapter number 8. Romans chapter number 8 and verse 28. Romans chapter number 8 and verse 28. When you have it, say amen. amen. Whether you know it or not, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching already. What, what is that? Oh, oh well, no, no, no. You got, you got to read it right. You got to read it right because this is the first thing that what? We got to know. We, we, we need to know. And so when you read this, you got to read it right. You got to say and we know. See, see, that, see that, that, now you're with me. You're with me. Now, now I, can, I can preach now because you're getting the essence of what I'm talking about. Because this is one of the things that we have to know. 
There's no option about it. There's, there's no way that you can live this life except you know this. There's no way that you can be successful in ministry unless you know this. There's no way that you can cope with all of the challenges that, that uh, befront you unless you know this right here. What did it say? No, 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 no. Y'all not getting it yet because, because if I didn't know this, that means I could faint any day now. That means I would just have to throw in the towel. That means I would just have to give up. That means that I, I, I might as well carry me a get. That, that means I might as well get me some absolute or some Jack Daniels. That, that means I might as well smoke me a blunt. That, that means that I might as well uh, go to the crack house. That, that means that I might as well get me some help to cope with the life. But because of what this says. I think I can make it. I think I can walk a little further. I think I can take another step. What is it? What is it? Say it again. And we know, and we know what? That all things work together for the good to them that love God. You see, not only do I love God, but to them what? According to his purpose. In other words, in other words, I got to know that when things happen, that somehow, some way, uh, it's working together for my good. I know. There's something. There's something. There's something. There's something. Uh, there's something that that I can leave this church now. I can leave this church. I can leave this church today, saying I, I found out something. I found out the next time I get a pink slip. The next time my boss tells me I don't have to come back to work tomorrow. The next time I get a, a notice in the mail that they're going to shut my water off, my lights off, my gas off, because I know something. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. You, 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 you see, my brothers and sisters, the difference between me being here and me being in a mental hospital is because I know something. Uh, the, the, the difference between me being here or me being locked up because I hurt somebody is because I know the, the difference between me being here and, and me being uh, the husband of three wives with 15 children scattered around the country is because I I, I, I want you to slap somebody a high five and tell them I just found out something. Uh, I just found out something. I found out that all things, all things, I can't get no help from this side of the church. All things work to some kind of way God is taking the negative and mixing it with the positive he's taking all of my hang ups he's taking all of my mess ups he's taking all of my challenges he's taking all of my trials he's taking all of my tribulations and he's mixing it in a pot and he's stirring it up together and he's saying don't worry how it tastes because all is working to 
I wish I could get some folk to pay attention to me. I, I don't know where your mind is. Your, your mind is over here. Your mind is over there. But you need to hear this word right here. Um, because tomorrow, something else going to happen. Tomorrow, something else is going to trigger something. Tomorrow, you're going to get some, come, uh, 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 Sister Cole, you're going to get another letter. You're going to get a letter that's going to disappoint you even more than you were disappointed this week. I can't get no help in here. You're going to get another letter. You're going to get another notice. You're going you're gonna to get another one. And you're going to feel like I might as well just throw in the towel. Yeah. You, I might as well just give up. It looked like to me this thing ain't working. I pay my time. I give my offering. I'm faithful to the house of God. And every time I turn around, things are not getting better, but they're getting worse. But there's something I know. Oh my God. And, and, and when, 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 I wish you, wish you shake your neighbor's hand and say, neighbor, when you get wrong advice, uh, just remind them of something that you know. Oh, tell somebody else, say neighbor, you got to know this because there's some false prophets out there. There's some folk that will tell you to do the wrong thing. They'll tell you to leave your church. They'll tell you you might as well give up on coaching. They'll tell you you might as well give up on God. But I can't give up on God. I can't give up on what I believe. I know in whom I believe. I know my redeemer living. And I know that all things. Oh God. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. That, I see now I'm gonna have to preach by myself. Oh Mother Johnson. This is the one scripture. This is the one. This is the one scripture. This is the one scripture that I never want to hear when things have happened. Oh God, please don't quote this one. I don't. I don't want to hear it. I, I want to feel sorry for myself. I want to pat myself on the back and I, I want to say, "Poor you, poor, poor pitiful you." I, I want folk to feel sorry for me. I, I just don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that all things is working together. But in the back of my mother Johnson, the Holy Ghost is beating me in the back of my head. And he's telling me, remember what I told you. Remember when you preached it and you told the people to be encouraged. You told the people that when you lose a loved one, that God would, y'all ain't gonna help me. When the, told the people that if you lose your mama he'll be a mama to you and if you lose your daddy he'll be a daddy to you but now you lost yours and now you want to feel sorry for yourself but I'm here to tell you if it's working together for them it's working together for you if it's working together for the congregation it's working together for the pastor slap your neighbor a high five and tell them it's working for you it's working. It's working for you. Don't worry about it. Just know that it's working. I can't see how it's working. I can't see how it's going to work out. But I know it's working. I don't feel anything. I don't smell anything. I haven't heard anything. But I know that it's working. That's why I can come to prayer chapel. And I can shout. That's why I can come to prayer chapel and lift up holy hands. That's why I can come to prayer chapel and say, Lord, I thank you because of something I know. You may not understand why I shout. You may not know why I'm singing, but I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. I know his eyes is on the sparrow and I know he's watching me tell self I'm here to tell you that I know something that's why I can shout I know something that's why I can lift up holy hand I know something that's why I can jump I know something that's why I can dance I know something that's why I can clap my hands and shout unto God with the voice of triumph I know something all things is working for me 
all things is working for me. All things is working for me. Yeah. Yes. When you get a divorce paper, when you get a paper in the mail, saying your husband don't want you no more, just tell yourself it's working for me. The next time your boss fire you, just shake your boss hand. Don't get mad with him, just shake his hand and tell him it's working for me. The next time your children rebel against you, don't get mad at him. Just look at your children and say it's working for me. Don't worry about me, I still got my joy. Don't worry about me, I still got my praise because I know it's working for me. I know it's working together. For my good, God is going to use what you do to bring me up. You thought you were killing me, but you were helping me. Every time you talked about me, you thought you were messing me up, but you were helping me up. Every time you lied on me, you thought you were tearing me down, but you were building me up. Every time you mistreat me, I want you to know it's working for me. It's working for me. Tell three people it's working for me. Tell three people it's working for me. Go ahead and lie on me. Go ahead and talk about me. It's working for me. Oh yes it is. It's working for me. The more you talk, the more I'm gonna shout. The more you talk, the more I'm gonna praise them. The more you talk, the more I'm gonna lift up. Hold a hand in the sanctuary. And I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing my song. I'm gonna testify because it's working for me. Say yeah. Say yeah. But wait a minute, I gotta get out of here. Oh Lord, shake somebody's hand and say name. He's got one more thing to share with you. And I hope you're listening. Tell your neighbor, I hope you're listening. Yeah, Second Corinthians chapter five. Yes, yes. The Bible said in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 1, this is the second thing you've got to know. Yes, this is the second thing you've got to know. The Bible said, for we know. For we know. Ooh. <laughs> that if our earthly house uh, of this tabernacle uh, were dissolved, uh, we have a building of God, uh, a house uh, not made with hands, uh, eternal uh, in the heavens. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Uh, I'm telling you what, Brother Jason, I just got to tell you that the reason why I suffer with a smile is because of this I know. The reason why that I don't carry a 40 cow in my pocket is because of this right here. The reason why I pastor this church as much as I can. The reason why I preach as much as I can because of this right here. Somebody told me you need to slow down. Somebody told me you need to stop preaching like that. Somebody told me you gonna wear yourself out. Somebody told me yes. But I read this right here, and this is something that I know. Oh, that if the earthly house 
talking about this body, this body that's rocking with pain, this body that's wearing out, this body that the doctors can't help, this body that's going to the dust, if it dissolves, I have another house. Shanana, 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 my my God, you don't know how happy that makes me. If this hand wears out, I got another hand. If this foot wears out, I got another foot. If this knee wears down, I got two more knees. Yeah, because one of these days we're going sweeping through that city where my loved one gone on before. We going to sit down at the banks of the river and I won't be back no more. Soon and very soon we're going. I can't get no help. Soon and very soon we're going to see the king and when the saints go marching in I wanna be in that number when the saints go marching in when they crown him lord of lords when they crown him king of kings I, I wanna be in that number I'm gonna be in that number Yeah 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 Oh Lord, I got to get out of here. I got to close. But Brother Brandon, over in the corner, you were talking about right now. The Holy Ghost is in the room right now. But the Holy Ghost is trying to point you to your future. Yeah, because some of you are tired of going through. Some of you I'm tired of suffering, but I'm here to tell you, it will be worth it all when we see Jesus. It will be worth it all when we see God. One look at my Jesus face. One look at my Jesus face. All trials will erase, and we're going to run. We gonna run this race. Uh, 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 high five your neighbor and say, neighbor, these are two things you gotta know. Shake your neighbor's hand on the other side on the other side and say neighbor you gotta know you got a new home over in Zion so go through now suffer now because it won't be long we're going home it won't be long we're going to see the king it won't be long you won't have to die no more won't have to cry no more no more sickness no more disease no more high blood no more low blood no more sugar no more heartache no more backache the Lord the Lord the Lord
Stand to your feet. I wish there was a praise in this house. I wish there was a praise in this house. Come on. Come on. I wish there was a praise in this house. Oh, come on. I wish there was a praise in this house. Praise him. Hi, yeah, yeah. Oh, ba, ba, ba. Oh, da, na, niyo, na. Eh, da, na, no, boy, na. Ni, da, na, no, boy, da, na. Eh, ba, ma, ma, si, da, na. Come on, worship him. 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 Worship him.